everybody, it's me, David Perry, and I'm going to be showing you how I study economics. So first, I gather my supplies, which are my Barron's um, AP Macro slash Microeconomics textbook, my notebook, uh, Stedler products, Triplus Fineliner, and Rollers, uh, sticky notes, pencils, and a protractor. So first what I do is I, since this is my first time studying economics, I'm just going to open up to the introduction. And we're just going to go over the basics of economics. So to actually start studying and taking notes, I use the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner only, just to have that base. And then after that, I go in with all the color and foolishness, as you'll see in the, you know, throughout the rest of the video. So right now what I'm about to do is I'm going over the definition of economics and just the basis of economics. I'm going to be going over positive and normative economics and opportunity cost, resource, the definition, and the different types of resources. And basically I'm going to be looking at the econom economicist, ec <laughs> whatever, I'm going to be looking at the economics point of view when talking about um, various subjects that we use in our day-to-day -day life like scarcity and other foolishness like that. So here you're seeing uh, positive versus normative economics and I have bullet points written in Roman numerals to show, you know, the difference between each. So now my notes end up looking like this, yeah? Organized, nice, neat, I guess, as neat as it can get. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the Stetler Tri Plus Rollers, which I did a video on. Um, you can check it out. Link will be in the description. But for economics, I only use three colors, being evergreen, green, and orange. And I'm also using my Stetler Tri Plus Text Surfer to highlight any definitions that I come across. So this is what it looks like before and after. Yay, I did a good, didn't I? <laughs> so now I'm just going to expound on, you know, the resources, land, capital, and labor. So when I expound on these different things, I'm writing the definition. And I'm not sure if that looks blue to you, but the, it's actually black. It's all black. But um, I go over the definitions and then I state examples under each. So that way, when I refer back to my notes, I get a sense of what it's actually talking about. And I do this for all of economics. So thank you guys for watching. And this has been How I Study Economics, AP Edition, I guess. <laughs> See you in the next one.